So Mr. John Dart Zone, I think that we should create this new series in order to expand the audience that we're appealing to. Intern! I finally found you! <laughs> oh no, Supervisor, what are you doing here? My life was perfect without you in it. Ever since you left Hasbro, my sales have been plummeting through the floor! They're going into the basement now. I can't keep going down there to check the graph. I mean, I know your sales are dropping, but I'm not sure what you want me to do about it. I work here at Dart Zone now, like, I don't really- I know you work here at Dart Zone! Stop rubbing it in my face! Look, the only way that my company is going to keep from falling into the pits is if we perform the sacred ceremony. Are you out of your mind, Supervisor? We haven't done that thing since, like, I don't even remember when the last time we did it was. Hey, I agreed never to do it again. You told me to. Yes, I know what I said, but I don't have a choice anymore. It's either this or I'm going to completely crash. Will you please just help me this one last time? I promise I won't make you pick up any more darts. Well... I guess I can't help you this one last time, since drastic things call for drastic measures. Let's do it. How does that always work every single time? I don't think I want to find out. So, I usually never get to reviews this fast after getting a blaster, but this was a tremendous exception. I took the risk and rushed the testing procedure, but you know what? Uh... The double punch, ladies and gentlemen. This is the best blaster of 2023, hands down. There's no way any company is going to be able to top this, not just because it loads from two magazines at the same time. How does that work? Now, if my incoherent intro didn't make any sense, allow me to break it down for you. This is a binary trigger. Let me tell you what that means. When you pull the trigger down, the left dart fires. And then when you release the trigger, the right dart fires like this. Which means that you can shoot this way faster than a strife or any flywheel semi-automatic blaster, and even some fully automatic magazine-fed blasters. But cool your jets, we'll get to all the fun stuff in a little bit. Let's start with the design. Yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. I don't care who you are, what your opinions on Nerf cosmetics are. This, to me, is like one of the coolest looking blasters I've ever seen in my life. Not only is it an awesome mix of the turquoise and the green, which are the two of my favorite colors that Nerf has put into blasters, Zombie Strike Green and Elite 2.0 Turquoise, how do you feel that they're a hair at the same time, but also a fully transparent section right in the middle showing off all the internals as well as the extra wide flywheels. It is so hard to comprehend that a blaster that looks this cool is released in the exact same line as other particular blasters. But yeah, the design of this thing is good, so we're already off to a great start. And they even recycled my favorite thing from the Rhino Fire, which are these rubber segments around the barrels that pulse in and out when you pull the trigger. That is so cool. Now for the ergonomics. The main grip, rejoice. The foregrip, hallelujah. The stock, it's short. Though, similarly to the turbine, I don't really feel like using it as a stock would be warranted. I'm more like using it like this, because this is honestly a heavy gunner strife. If you could possibly imagine that, it's a strife that shoots way too fast. And on that regard, let's cut to the functionality. It is a semi-automatic flywheel blaster. You load in two magazines or just one from either side. You don't have to load in two like the Rhino Fire does. You rev and then it's semi-auto. <laughs> The trigger pull, both of these triggers are way too good. The rev trigger is very big and very clicky, and the main trigger 
you just gotta try it to really believe it for yourself. It is so nice, though a bit heavy because there's so much mechanical stuff going on here. At the same time though, actually pulling down the trigger is super crisp and buttery smooth, even though there's, again, a lot of things going on. As for the two paddle mag releases, they are expertly crafted with brilliant metal springs. I should also like to mention that the two magwells are made chef's kiss just absolute perfection they're super smooth to push in and take out though they don't mag drop unfortunately and now this is something that i really want to talk about the plastic quality on this is the same as this big yellow nugget right here they have gone back to the good thick plastic quality that people expect out of nerf blasters this thing feels so good and so sturdy. There is no creak, no wobble, no anything to any of these components. The closest thing there is to wobble are the two front muzzle lens wobbling back and forth a little because they're on moving parts. That's a big deal because we've been running off of Alpha Strike plastic quality for the last like three years. Finally, finally, thick plastic along with the storm charge. Thick plastic is back. Yay. Right, so I can't do a, a conventional firing demo. So what I'm going to do is load 118 round magazine in the left side and shoot that, then load the other 18 round magazine in the right side and shoot that, then load both with 12 round magazines and shoot both standardly, and then I'm going to put two more six round magazines in and pull this trigger as fast as I possibly can to show you just how many darts per second this thing runs without having to do the this trick. So let's get started first with the left side. Now, for the other side, which is incredibly weird. Now for the two 12 round magazines, and yeah, we're doing this all at once. And finally, for the fun part, the six round magazine rush. The blaster's perfect. It's absolutely magnificent. There's nothing wrong with it. I have no complaints here at all. Uh, yeah, I wish. I do have some complaints with this blaster. Mainly things that don't have to do with the blaster at all. These magazines that it come with are some of the worst magazines I have ever seen out of Nerf. Not only are they made incredibly cheaply with incredibly thin plastic, but they're not even made like in the traditional sense. It's just one piece of plastic that's been bent in half twice. It really feels awful, and I don't know why they're making these the standard. The other kind of annoyance is how short the stock is, but again, that can be remedied just by holding the blaster like this. As for the rest of the blaster, yep, I'm out of things to say. It is amazing. This is the first blaster that Nerf has made in a long time that I am unironically saying is absolutely incredible and worth more than the price tag that they're offering on this. They want $40 for this thing retail, $50 in some places from what I've heard. I got this one for $35. I would, I would expect this to be $60, maybe even $70 because of just how good it is. This thing is a steal. I can't recommend this thing enough. If you're a performance guy, buy one of these. It shoots very fast and efficiently and it has a great rev up time out of the box. That's not even counting what it could do on a lipo. If you're a casual nerfer, get it. It shoots very fast, it's very fun, and it's super satisfying to pull this trigger and shoot two darts per trigger pull. And if you're like me and like the concept of nerf blasters being practical combined with fun gimmicks, you're gonna be in heaven as soon as you lay eyes on this thing. My sincerest apologies, that entire shot had the camera all the way over here. Or to the other side, I, I don't actually remember now. But. Basically, purchase recommendation on this blaster is overwhelmingly yes, please get it, please, as fast as you can. If you see it, please pick it up. Do not hesitate. Buy this before you buy anything else in the Nerf section at Walmart. This blaster is fantastic. 
I run out of things to say. When a buy link appears, I will link it in the description below. And with that said, thanks for watching. Bye. The firing demo didn't go the way I planned it to, so here's an extra clip of me shooting two 12-round magazines.